My name is Robert Tichetto. I'm the operator of the Camera Obscura, and I've been operating it since 1995. And it's a beautiful experience, and everyone should come down here. We're at Ocean Beach, located behind the Cliff House on the lower terrace. Well, I encountered it when I was 10 years old. I used to sneak in here all the time. I used to just hang out down here and go get an is it, run up here and sneak in with my bathing suit. It was like a different image, so it was like something in a bowl. So that was kind of spectacular I mean, that itself. It was great because every time I can just sit back there and look at the seal rock and ocean beach and all the seals. This was built in 1946. It was built by Floyd Jennings. And uh, 1956, it was later changed to a camera look here because people didn't know what a camera obscura was. So the owner, Mr. Whitney's Jr., recommended it look like a camera. Uh, it's the principle of light hitting a pinhole. So the light rays crisscross and the image is formed in a dark room. And this one here is called a pyramid camera obscure where the image comes down. And it's best compared to an eye because the image is produced on a large concave table. Hey, yes? Take it back up again. There's an eye on top of the pyramid that's rotating and that's a symbol of the cosmic eye seeing everything. Well, that's my interpretation. The table's evenly focused. The up or down is how you focus it, so everything in the camera is focused for 100 meters. And then it rotates 360, so everything you see outside, you'll see inside. And the colors are a little more subtle, so it gives that little painting look. It looks like a uh, pastel colors. So it's very beautiful. That's why it's even better inside than outside. Camera Obscura changes my perspective in a way because you see things in a different way. It's the same lighting from outside, but what happens when it hits a pinhole and gets captured in the dark room? It produces a, a different perspective of everything. So that's what makes it so special.